Not a list. 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 Oh, it's, it's, oh the, it's an altar it's board. It's altar board complex. Uh -huh. right, art card. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> is this them? Are they? Is this them telling us we're not gonna open a born collects? But here's all these. Here's all these born collects art cards, <laughs> baby. Yeah, I'm being taunted. We by are born. being taunted. Like can't Legit. open a table. Can't open a born collects. Then, just gonna keep going. Yeah, the card stock has been hidden in this, honestly. Like. I will show you my pile of cards over there in a second. Oh, hello! Vorinclex, <laughs> baby! Mr. Vorinclex! This is going too fast. Yeah. Yo! Vorinclex! <laughs> we're, gonna, baby. we're gonna have to clip that later. Oh, hello! Big boy! Big boy! Wow, that was a surprise. Yeah. I, I was going too fast. <laughs> Would you like a bean? I am okay. Sure you want beans? No, I don't like beans. Bean? Mm -mm. I'll be you. Right back, I'm getting soda. Bean. Oh, the revealed character designs for uh for one to two. They look He's exactly the same. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, what the fuck is the difference? Oh man, they revealed nothing. <laughs> so okay, this time we did forget to talk about the signal. Welcome to the second episode of Shun and Alexis got bored and started a radio show in another world. I'm Base. And I wanna fuck skeletons. I I, <laughs> I don't know what to say. That, but I'm Shun, and I don't wanna fuck skeletons. Boo. It's All okay. Right. There's only room enough for one skeleton in this house, and it's me. Skeleton implies that you're a skeleton who's a slut, not. A I skeleton. am in I am in fact. Underneath all this meat, there is a skeleton. Aren't we all a on the skeleton. inside just skeletons? <laughs> all right. So uh, today's topic, we're gonna talk about uh, manga recommendations, but we limited it to mangas that we own. Yes. Because it's easy to talk about like good mangas, but that's later. There's a few stuff I want to talk a about. A few talking points for yeah. today yeah for the opening segment of mm -hmm. the radio show segment of this the free talk the, the like free talk section the free talk <laughs> um i would like to apologize to everyone for the three hour video uh i decided not to edit it because that's a lot of editing yeah yeah so i just uploaded it just drew straight up for just three hours straight up but yeah editing is hard uh, we're hoping we can edit this time. All the ahs and eh. Oh yeah, all like the silence. And all like the jokes that fall flat. No, no, we keep them in. We keep the, the we, flat ass yeah, jokes? Yeah, we, we keep the flat jokes. Um, I took notes on what I wanted to talk about this week. I don't know if you did. I just want to talk about the Viz announcements today. That is also on the list. Sick. Okay. We're on the same page then. Yeah. Alright, so first of all, uh, I know I talked about it at the end of the last stream. Uh, the Redwall animation. Yeah. Yeah. So, I obviously I was excited. Mm -hmm. But waiting a week, I realized, oh, it's going to be made by Netflix. And it's also going to be, like, apparently it's co-produced by BBC. Well, or I it's mean, it the... is very British. Yeah. But uh, I haven't seen a really good British cartoon series all the good cartoon series that i know is from canada that fucking ladybug show is french yeah that's not british i mean it's close <laughs> <laughs> oh it's by the legend of Korra studio oh okay higher up on the list <laughs> i i was sad for like a few days when i realized like oh man but i haven't seen anything good that's a lie. I'm probably. I'm pretty sure I've seen something. So last week, uh, after last stream, uh, 
the AI generated sexy picture site got uh, admit, finished its goal. So it's a site where uh, uh, it gives so the viewer the viewers I guess the visitors of the site chooses between two pictures. The pic out of those two pictures you decide which one's sexier. And after like after it gets enough votes, the AI generates the next set of two pictures based on the first uh, the first chosen one <laughs> and it keeps going until a sexy picture gets made mm -hmm. and uh how they determine if it's sexy or not is if google blocks the uh because they, it has google affiliate if google affiliate blocks that site because uh um adult content we win kind of thing. we win <laughs> and after like two months they got blocked finally <laughs> Google's like, is that a titty? Is that a titty? Is that a nipple? And I will show it, except for because if if, if Google if Google's all like that bad, Twitch will probably be like, yeah, oh, that's worse. <laughs> that's fucking nope. That's yeah. a titty. But uh, it, it's great. Like, a perverts will invent new technology. <laughs> the like, perverts will inherit the earth. Yeah, honestly, like uh, this is mostly just coming from Japan, but like. In Japan, a, uh, a lot of like um, VR games that's for like regular use, like VR games and whatnot. Uh, they wouldn't exist if the perverts didn't make the VR porn games. Hmm. Without that one game where you can just fuck Hatsune Miku. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure yes, but I don't know which game. But yeah, <laughs> you can just fuck Hatsune Miku. Yeah. Uh, Mamoru Hosoda's new movie got announced. Oh, Mamoru Hosoda! Yeah, I was like, oh, what's gonna be furry in this one? Uh, it's a dragon. Scaly! Yeah. It's a dragon and the title. I think the title is like the dragon and the girl with freckles. So. Scaly. Scaly. <laughs> Um, I can't wait for for wolf children too. Scaly Boogaloo. Woman mm -hmm. fucks dragon has dragon children. Dragon man fucks off and dies. Mm -hmm. Raise these small dragon children in the Japanese countryside again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the plot. I don't know yet, but wait, no trailer. Okay, uh, but for real, Mamoru Hosoda. He's got a kink. Well, he's probably he he likes Shodas. Not where I thought that was going. <laughs> I mean, have you seen his movies? He just lo he just because a man like puts small boys in every single every single <laughs> one doesn't mean that he <laughs> likes them. That no, I'm not way. calling him Shotokan. I'm just saying he likes Shota. Oh yeah, I guess like uh, people who misunderstand me, I get it now. <laughs> yeah, but what do you want me to say? He likes the little boys. There's no way to word that. <laughs> right? <laughs> but, uh... He likes little boys. Aesthetically. <laughs> man. There goes my notes. Oh, there go they go. Oh, mm -hmm. man. They're just fucking gone. Mm -hmm. Into the abyss. Can you grab it? You're the closest. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't know. Like, I, I'm excited for it. Because I, I, like, I liked uh, Summer Wars. Yeah, Summer Wars is a classic. Classic. Uh, and then there was Girl Who, Girl Who Left Through Time, which is based on another novel. Yeah, it's not really his. Yeah, yeah aesthetically it's his. Aesthet aesthetically it's, yeah. it's his, but it's yeah. not his story. Yeah, which is why there's probably, there's no Shodai in that one. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> and then there's Summer Wars, one of my favorite movies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Summer Wars was dope. Yeah, Summer Wars, it, I, like... That just says, like, uh, a lot about the first Digimon movie, honestly. Dude, like, directed the first Digimon movie, mm -hmm. and it lived in his head rent-free for years, mm -hmm. and he's like, fuck, this, that was such a good concept, I uh -huh. want to do that again! And so he took out the Digimon and made it, it wor it's, it's the same movie, but, I mean, obviously, different. Obviously, it's not no. shot for shot the same. same movie, but, like... But the concept is the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah, after Summer Wars was Boy and the Beast, which I didn't like. Uh, um, I didn't like Boy and the Beast that much compared to Summer Wars. Uh, yeah, it kind of fell a little flatter. Mm -hmm. uh, was it Wolf Children? Then Boy? it was Wolf Children. Okay. which Wolf Children was good. Was fucking mm -hmm. yeah. Beautiful. He, he's he's really good at doing the uh, um, found family. Man, kind of thing. fucking loves the family trope. Yeah, 
He's really good at that. Um, which is why I think Girl Who Left Through Time kind of fell flat a little bit. It didn't play to his strengths yeah. of person finds other person makes family. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, and then the Boy and the Beast. I, yeah, I didn't like Boy and the Beast that much. I mean, it's still a found, found family. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, some, maybe it's pacing, I don't know. Family yeah. trope is good. Yeah, and then there was, uh, what's after Boy and the Beast? It's uh, Mirai. Oh yeah, Mirai. I heard good things about Mirai. I mean, it won awards, didn't it? Yeah, it won awards, yeah. Not as much as, you know, your name, but it still won awards. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited for his this new one. Pretty sure he becomes friends. see. Sexy dragon. Oh, the dragon's not that sexy. That's not for you to decide. <laughs> Nintendo Direct. Samurai Warriors fans live a charmed life. Yep. Yeah. Samurai Hi. Warriors fans don't know how good they have it. I actually bought Samurai Warriors 4 Deluxe for the Switch tonight. Or last night. Jesus Christ. Because I got ex excited. That game is fun. Samurai Warriors privilege. Honestly, Sam I... It, it feels like Dynasty Warriors after like a certain point. They were Sick. like, oh, we could sell it just by being a Dynasty Warriors. And they took all the innovation that they were going to put in Dynasty Warriors over to Samurai Warriors. Cause that Samurai game. Warriors is like the middle child of Koei mm -hmm. Tecmo. Dynasty Warriors gets all like the cool, innovative shit, but we've never done it before, so we might fuck up. Mm -hmm. And then they're like, okay, we really fucked up. And then they impl and implement the things that succeed in into Samurai Warriors, and then Samurai Warriors fans continue to live a very charmed life mm -hmm. as they do. Mm -hmm. uh, the Skyward Sword announcement was nice, because I'm pretty sure my age group, none of us play Skyward Sword, because... I think only few of us had the Wii out. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And uh, not only that, we you needed the uh, Motion Plus attachment to play the original Skyward Sword, so a lot of us didn't play it. So we're excited. Uh, I just want you to know that Twilight Princess started trending because of that, because Twilight Princess fans got butt hurt. Twilight Princess fans Why? got mad, because they want their Switch port. Why Skyward or I mean Twilight Princess sold enough? The people who wanted to play it, I could still play it. Mm -hmm. They're not missing out. <laughs> they want their Switch port that bad. Like they want it bad. I, I, mm, they want their Switch port. That's so dumb. Well, and then they're probably gonna complain when they. When they port the Wii version and not the GameCube version, because let's be honest, if they port the Wii version, I'll be mad too. But the difference between the Wii version and the GameCube version was that uh, it was flipped. So Link is left-handed swordsman. Mm -hmm. Now he's been left-handed all the way up to uh, Twilight Princess, but when they decided to port Twilight Princess to the Wii, uh, when they announced that it's both going to be for GameCube and the Wii, they flipped his hand because the Wii was motion controlled, so, and there was more right-handed people in the world. Oh. Supposedly. <laughs> no, it would have been fine if he was right-handed in both games. Okay. But the fact they had to flip it for the Wii version to make it work for the right-handed people is the reason I didn't like the Twilight Princess. Right power. <laughs> right power, yep. <yeah. laughs> wow. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> okay, so about the editing and cutting out the jokes out of flat. Oh, it's come kinda... on. <laughs> it was a horrible pun. But puns are meant to be horrible. Um, what else got announced during the... Um, the Smash announcement? Oh, right. Oh, Pyra, my God. Pyra and... The other chick. I forgot their English names. It's Homura and Hikari in the Japanese one. Now, we watch it in Japanese, so we missed all the English announcements, because apparently they were different. But uh, I guess a lot of people's not happy, and I, I just want to point, like, I, I saw some of the complaints, it's like, oh, we want more Western representation, it's like, it is a Japanese game. It's a game. Japanese game. It's In the end, it's a Japanese game. Nintendo is a Japanese company. Mm hmm like, uh, like Banjo and Kazooie worked because Banjo and Kazooie. Hey, it's not a Western game, uh, but it was still popular in Japan. You mean it's not an Eastern game? 
Eastern. No, it's it's not it's it's huh. rare, isn't it? Ooh, who made Banjo Kazooie? I thought Banjo Kazooie was a Japanese game. Oh, rare is not. That's right, rare is Western. But it's still a popular game in Japan, so that's why people in Japan didn't mind that it's a Western rep, I guess. Yeah. Uh. But in the end, it is a Japanese game made by a Japanese director. They're going to. Yeah. They're going to favor the Japanese games. Yeah, especially since like he has to play the games. Uh, so Sakurai, Mr. Sakurai has to play the games. Like fun fact, that's how they do it. He has to go and he has to have played those games before yeah, in order yeah. to get them in the Smash. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's a commission base, so like, uh, Nintendo will tell him you have to put this character in the game, but he will go and play that game. And he's not, so like, if a game's not sold in Japan, it's really hard for him to, like, play it. Play, yeah. Because, like, okay. it's saying, like, you want, if you want a character in Smash, you want a good representation of that character. You don't want a half-assed character. Yeah. So you want Hitsakurai to play it. So, like, having Master Chief in the game, it's like, I'm pretty sure if Sakurai played the game, Halo, he could make it work. But He's good at making games. Halo? Yeah, Halo's not popular in Japan. Halo is also not a Nintendo, Nintendo property. property. Is it on any Nintendo system? No. Hey, hey, <gasps> hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey. oh, naughty! Then fuck Master Chief if he's not in the yeah, it's, 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 it's Smash Brothers because it's Nintendo right, properties right. or stuff that can be played on a Nintendo right. system. So like Doom Guy, it's like I mean yeah, Doom's out on Nintendo Switch, but like <laughs> well, Doom Guy has more of a chance of getting in there than fucking <laughs> Master, Master Chief, Chief right? guy who is not on a Nintendo console mm -hmm. in the slightest. Mm -hmm. People are dumb. Mm -hmm. People are stupid. Fans are dumb. Viz announcements. Viz announcements. Every single time Viz is like, we have a list of announcements. I mm -hmm. get excited, mm -hmm. but also I prepare for the stupid amounts of Fallout. As manga fans, they're either the chillest people you know, like people who just like are have like manga as a personality trait. They're either the chillest people you know. Or they're the dumbest motherfuckers you've ever met in your entire life. And Viz especially attracts the dumbest motherfuckers I've ever seen on the internet react to anything. And I just like wait. And I'm like, okay, I'm just going to look at the announcements and I'm not going to look in the comments because they're infected with idiot brain fungus. And yes, every yes. time, idiot brain fungus. Viz fans, fucking dumb. Y'all need to go. Y'all need to go and learn some Japanese so you can read that kingdom you want so fucking much. Because that's the only way you're fucking getting it, motherfuckers. Anyway, fuck. I say I want kingdom English just so people know that there's people from Saga that actually does stuff. One man from Saga is just pulling the whole prefecture. Uh-huh. Oh, man, like, when he got caught in the scandal about, like, cheating his wife... Oh man, Saga was Sag Saganians were embarrassed. It's like, no! <laughs> the one famous guy from our prefecture is mm -hmm. oh, he's cheated! Mm -hmm. We are all ashamed. Mm -hmm. But yeah. It's fucking Viz Viz announcements. This is just proof that Viz fans mm -hmm. big dumb stupid idiots. Uh -huh. Viz and like twelve hours before like no, like an hour before they started, they're like no, wait, I guess it was 10 minutes before they started. They're like, announcements start in 10 minutes. Announcements. Mm -hmm. I want I want everybody to focus on, on the, e the S at the end of announcements. <laughs> and they announced the first thing, which was... The, the, you got to understand, when they have like a list of announcements, they start with like the least like hype thing, and then they mm -hmm. try to like, you know build to like the grand crescendo of the thing that they really wanted to announce well you say that but like i feel like they started off strong with the first announcement you, you would think that people would be really 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 into an essay by fucking hideo kojima uh -huh. but no yeah. everyone was like it's not kingdom <laughs> oh, oh it's not the one very specific manga that i wanted therefore it's bad See, okay poo -poo. so so you're saying kingdom but people wanted the Jujutsu Kaisen novel, and I hate Jujutsu Kaisen now. Jujutsu Kaisen can 
get <laughs> fucked. Every single thing that did not get announced that people were like, I wanted this, can get fucked. I hope uh -huh. it never gets licensed. Mm -hmm. Fuck you. <laughs> Should we just make this the topic of the stream? The topic is just me getting mad. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna file through. Okay. But I just want to, I just want to let you know, <laughs> they announced one thing. First thing they announced was that, and literally every single fucking comment underneath it was like, "Is that it? What is that it? Is that all?" And I'm like, announcements, I mean plural. Uh, obviously, they can't read. Y'all are illiterate, which is surprising considering this is a readable medium. But for some, somehow you managed to get in here and These? read manga despite the fact that you can't fucking read. So it's like this is mostly on the Twitter manga community, but these are the people who straight out said to the authors of Shonen Jump manga, "It's like I love your work, but I read the fan sub, fan, fan, fan oh. translation because they're more accurate than the Shonen Jump translation." Oh, it's like fucking god. Just take your shit and go. Mm -hmm. Go go read your illegal actually, fan yeah, subs exactly. and don't bother the creators of yeah. that work actually, about yeah, it. Yeah, like they, 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 a lot of them read fan translations for multiple reasons. Like I don't care the reason. Coming honest. from the common writer fandom, I understand you gotta yeah. do what you gotta do. Yeah. But also, well, don't go up to the person who made the thing and be all like, "I consume your content illegally." He, 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 he just, just fucking consume your goddamn content and yeah. be on your way. Yeah. It's like Fuck you. you're gonna you're gonna read fan translations anyway. So why do you care about this announcement? You're going to do it. You rando motherfucker on the internet who does not contribute to sales or whatever. They don't fucking care about you. You going on there and saying like, well, I consume this illegally. Fucking an entire ass company isn't going to be like, oh uh -oh. no, ex rando motherfucker is reading scans <laughs> oh we must bow to their whims yeah, because it, this one idiot is reading scan it's dumb yeah, i hate that, this that, fans that, that's why like uh um i mean comrider got officially brought brought well not brought over they were more open about selling the comrider toys they were like yeah we knew we know you watched it we're not gonna ask how you watch it. We're not gonna ask it. how. We just we're, know you saw it. You, we know you saw it, and we know you love it. So that's why we're gonna put more effort into it, because they saw that we were willing to purchase the goddamn expensive toys. <laughs> but these people coming in like, well, fuck you. I'm gonna go read the scans. Viz isn't gonna be like, ah, yes, we see you love this content. Yeah, no, it's like no, we see you have a passion for the content. No, you're an asshole. <laughs> fuck you. I have a passion for hating these people mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway yeah anyways the other Viz announcements were an animal animal crossing new horizons deserted island diary which is a manga mm -hmm. that funnily enough when they announced the hideo kojima essay book someone was all someone was all like is that it <laughs> of course and someone's like oh, <laughs> they're, they're gonna announce the fucking crossing. animal crossing manga <laughs> and then they did and i'm like fuck you <laughs> Fuck this one person in particular. They announced the fourth box set for One Piece, which is volume 71 to 90. So, right before the one I like. They also announced, for anybody who wants to collect Demon Slayer, they announced the box set for Demon Slayer. I'm slightly interested. They announced the My Hero Academia Ultra Analysis Character Guide. And so, I don't know... I mean, like... Back in the day, yeah, character guides and like uh, story guidebooks, the, fish, the official ones, were good because a lot of people didn't have access to the internet and can't read the wikis and whatnot. I don't know how much of a draw there is it's, for it's that. It's a right cool now. thing based on that thing you like. Yeah, but again, I have the One Piece one in the closet somewhere. I have the Bleach one definitely in the closet. Mm hmm. Those came out in like the era where it's hard to like look up information. So there was a reason to buy it. What's the draw? There has to be a good draw. Like maybe like episode zeros published in it. Maybe I don't like know. one shot. It, it's people it's just, a weird enough. People just right? like character books. People like having a book with information they already know in it. Yeah. It's just, just, it's it's weird. It's like how like guidebooks like for video games aren't being sold well right now because mm -hmm. you can just read it online. Something that I'm really really fucking interested in, even though I don't fucking read it, 
they announced a one piece recipe book mm -hmm. and i'm like what the fuck mm -hmm. i want to read that <laughs> kaiju number eight which mm -hmm. if you know you know that manga's on its shits they announced Akira Toriyama's Manga Theater, a collection of action-packed short stories from the famed creator of Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. I tilted the screen and I was sent all the way back to the top. Oh, there's a lot more. They announced uh, Full Metal Alchemist's New Beginning, which is a light novel about Winry. Mm -hmm. I think it's just like the whole the first part of the series from her point of view. Uh, a manga called... Freyren Beyond Journey's End. Oh, I'm excited for that one. It's an interesting concept. Mm -hmm. Like, the first, because, like, the cover makes it seem like it's a, um, it's a journey, it's her journey with, like, her friends. No! <laughs> I mean, it is, but that's the cover. Yeah, it, it's really cute. It's a really cute cover where there's a mortal elf and she's with a party. Of like I think it's like a priest, a warrior, and a dwarven, like a knight or something like that. That's the cover. So you, your brain, you're like, oh, this is a story about their part journey and like how it goes. No, the first chapter, first chapter starts with them finishing their journey. Mm. So like it's like, well, it's over. It's done. Like we'll see each other in like ten years, right? Because they promised to meet up, and that's where the story begins. Oh, them shit. meeting, or attempting to meet up. But she's immortal, everyone else isn't. Aww. So it's like this really like sad start of the story, and so good. I try not spoiling it as much, but it's so good. And then they got a, like, a cute little Sanrio pom-pom DIY book. Because mm -hmm. they, they really like releasing these like cute little DIY books. Mm -hmm. Um... A new uh, Rumiko Takahashi manga called Mao. Mao? Mao. Never read it. Mm -hmm. uh, My Love Mix Up, which is like a love triangle shoujo oh, manga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Rose and Blood, which is about fucking vampires. No, uh, Rose and Maiden. No, Rose and Maiden. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Then we got Pokemon Journeys, which is just the manga for Pokemon, for Journey. Pokemon Journey. And then Pokemon Pocket Comics, which is just Pokemon for Coma. Mm -hmm. Then they announced that they're releasing Burn the Witch, yeah. which uniquely has a fucking slip cover. No, no, if you if you are like into like Western like manga at all you know that we don't get fucking slip covers mm -hmm. like people back over in europe they get fucking slip covers that shit's mm -hmm. sick we don't get fuck we don't get slip covers i think it's because like i mean it's a stereotype obviously but uh americans are kind of rough with their products yeah so like in bookstores it would just rip yeah. so yeah we don't get no book socks yeah but this one's coming with a slip cover yeah so. which we're gonna buy online because i don't trust barnes and noble <laughs> <laughs> But I, I don't know why it's getting a slipcover. I think because a lot, like pretty much almost literally every single release of Burn of the Witch has a slipcover. Mm -hmm. And they were like, fine, we'll give it a fucking slipcover. And that's volume one, so we're probably not getting Jet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> alright, we're not getting Jet. <laughs> we're not getting Jet because volume one has the uh, uh, chapter zero in it. Whoop, no Jet. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, no guess, jet art book. I have to buy it myself, man. With what fucking money? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Were you ready to drop hundreds of dollars on an art on book? On Titty Kubo artwork? Mm -hmm. I really want jet. And then finally, we got another Jinji. Junji Ito story collection. This one is Deserter. I don't know what the fuck's in it. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's his earlier shit, apparently. Oh, that's old! I have I did not look at like the full mm -hmm. art. Wow. I don't like. I it. especially do not want to go into the comment section of the two shojo announcements that we got. Oh yeah. Because shojo manga fans, if just general viz manga fans mm -hmm. are like toxic idiot poo poo brain heads, mm -hmm. fucking shojo beat fans, toxic motherfuckers. Yeah, I don't touch. So them. like. When people say, like, manga community is toxic, 
it's because like 80% of what people outsiders see is toxic. These piss little piss heads on Twitter. Yeah. Like, fuck you. Yeah. Go learn Japanese and leave us alone. You're strict saving. Uh, strict saving. I'm gonna be honest, uh, I did not care for strict saving during the preview section, like, you know, the regular preview section. When they like introduce the school, hey, I'm not a huge fan of like magical schools. But one of them is really hot. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they're hot. Like I like it. Yeah, like it, it, it's like it, the characters might be interesting, but the setting—it's a settings I don't like. I don't like magical school settings or school. Well, I like school settings, but I don't like the whole like this house has to fight this house. This is for my shonen manga mindset. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, oh, Strixhaven looks. It looks uh, like uh, art wise it looks really good plot wise i'm not sure <laughs> it's got rowan and will yeah it's got the babies yeah yeah uh, uh. again i didn't read throne of eldering because i wasn't a fan of them in the first place Ooh, the babies. but they're good characters now i just don't i'm still not that interested in them i'm interested in oko and garrick which is why i read thrones like afterwards oko story is better but Probably shouldn't bring Oko back for a while until they <laughs> fuck Oko. <laughs> uh, uh, until they fire Nick Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> when they fire him, bring back Oko. Oko yeah, yeah. <laughs> for but, spite reasons. Yeah, the mystical archive looks amazing. Oh baby, like, we're getting a reprint of uh, Demonic Tutor, Opt, Swords, uh, Plowshares, yeah. and that's three, that's out, three of 60. out of sixty. Fucking sixty, baby. Or sixty-three cards. Sixty-three. And then I was like, okay, that's kind of exciting. Enough for me to buy like a box. And then like five hours later, Japanese Magic Twitter announced, oh, by the way, the 63 myth mystical archive cards, they're all, all of them are getting altered. Every single Every one. Every single fucking one. 63 alt art cards, which is a lot more than War of Spark. And... I'm pretty sure there's anime-based art mixed in. There might be. But there's, they're focusing on traditional Japanese art, and I think that's great. That's fucking sick. Like demonic tutor with is looks amazing. If someone breaks out the Japanese demonic tutor and some motherfucker calls it anime, oh my god, death be upon them. But no, it's anime because it's from Japan. Japanese. Now, granted, some of them did look like anime. Right. I'll give them that. Like, you know, Nissa, Narsa, Jace. So, the, all the good characters. Gideon didn't. Gideon looked weird. <laughs> he, he was a puzzle and dragon character. No one, no one, no fucking Japanese artist can nail Gideon. No, no, no. Okay. Japanese, I know why. <laughs> Japanese fan artists, they get Gideon well. They, they draw Gideon good. Japanese fan art, Japanese artists who are commissioned to draw Gideon, drop the ball every time. I don't know why they can't find nobody. Yeah, it's they should have got the guy who did Golden Kamui Gideon. Just bring on Golden, the fucking Bara man. Yeah, have him draw Gideon. Oh my oh god, god. It would look amazing. I'm picturing it right now. Mhm. Mm like Golden oh. Kamui Gideon. Like they had to find the right, or like uh. Uh, the guy who did, uh, My Brother's Husband. Give it a tag of me! Yeah, have him <laughs> do it, Gideon. Gay you bar, Gideon. You, you can't have... I'm sorry, for Gideon, you need someone who's actually attracted to you. You, you need somebody yeah. who is attracted to buff men. Not mm -hmm. someone who can draw buff men. Mm -hmm. Because that's different. You mm -hmm. need somebody who's attracted, attracted to, to buff, buff men. men. Yeah. Otherwise, it won't work. It won't work. Yeah. Now, uh, if you go to Amazon.co.jp, you can use your American Amazon account to order from them, and you can order boxes. I know a lot of people okay, don't like ordering from Amazon, but this is like the only chance we can we're gonna get to be able to order Japanese boxes, because if, like a lot of uh, local game stores in Japan, they have a thing where you they can't ship out of state out of country. That's an agreement they have with wizards, but Amazon, for some odd reason, doesn't have that agreement. Amazon is just this yeah. lawless place. I'm excited for that. Oh, you can also buy War of the Spark boxes on Amazon. You can buy Japanese War of the Spark boxes if you are so inclined. That's it. Yeah. Uh, anything? 
No. Just Viz fans got small brains. We're gonna cut the whole Viz this, sec this section. No, fuck them. <laughs> they get to hear me, man. <laughs> They get to hear how I absolutely fucking despise them. Uh, okay, so now for the main topic for the today's topic. video. Uh, we're gonna take turns. We're gonna be recommending manga from our collection that we think people should read. Yes. And uh, I know you chose manga that like other people usually don't like recommend. Yeah, I, I want to expand people's horizons a yeah. little bit. That's my that's my goal. I just pick mangas I like. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, I like these mangas. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. It's uh, there's a, there's another manga I wanted to. I'm just gonna straight up say Gundam Origin. Gundam Origin. I know we have it. I can't find it in the closet. Oh, it's so. it's pushed very far back. Yeah. They're very happy. Yeah. That's why it's not part of my list. Uh, we did pick like three to four books. Mm -hmm. Uh, we might only be able to show two. Okay. Uh, go first. Okay, okay, shit, shit. Here we go. Alright, so I talked about this manga in our last stream, but I just wanted to very specifically just fucking put a spotlight on it because I have, I have a passion for it. It's Tales of Fucking Wedding Rings. Tales of Wedding Rings is a harem manga that's absolutely fucking off its shits. Let me tell you, if you hate harem manga, give tales of wedding rings a fucking chance because it it takes a genre that i don't fucking like and is all like but what if we did this and i'm like you're a fucking genius let me give you a kiss on the mouth because about this guy and his childhood friend and his childhood friends all like oh i'm moving away i'm gotta go back home to you know my home country and turns out her home country is actually in another world, which trigger warning isekai. And as she's going away to another world, because it turns out she's this princess from another world, and she has to go back to fulfill her princessly duties. And as she's leaving, guy's like, "No, stop! Don't go!" And he actually like winds up following her into this other world, and he interrupts her fucking marriage ceremony. It is so good. And he winds up being the guy to marry her instead through like some like it's been so long since I read volume one, but some like through some like crazy shenanigans he winds up marrying her instead. And he winds up inheriting the destiny of the Ring King, which is this guy who has to go and marry like five other princesses in order to obtain rings that they have on their person and gain power in order to defeat like this dark evil like wizard lord and the thing i like about fucking tales of wedding rings is that it's a harem but he has to marry every single girl and every single girl is all like down for it because they know about like okay i the, the, i am the ring princess and when the ring king comes one, there's gonna be a challenge to see if he's worthy, and then he's gonna get that ring, and then we're gonna be super married, and I'm gonna be in love with him. And they're all in fucking love with him, and they all understand this, and they all understand that they're not in competition with one another, because they're all his wives. So they're all just down with each other, and it's so fucking neat, and, uh, and, like, part of, like, the thing I like is, like, in order to, like, he gets all the rings, but he doesn't really have any powers. In order to un unlock, like, the special, like, elemental powers he gets from these rings, he has to, like, bond with every single girl. Every single girl. Wait, is this done by Square Enix? I don't know. Because, like, I'm pretty sure it's, uh, yeah. It, it sounds like a video game. It bonds with the Oh, it's so good! Yeah, no. It... It's not, it's not, like... Harem manga where you could obviously tell what the main stay ship is from the start and all the other girls are just annoying window dressing and there's constant like yelling and fighting and drama like oh he's in love with this other girl because misunderstanding oh, yeah, of conversation yeah. I saw him have. Oh yeah like most harem mangas it's like the girls are actually fighting alongside each other too. No it's yeah. all like this one's just straight to the point like these girls all know that they all gotta be his wife mm -hmm. and they all love him because they have all bonded with him on like a deep like soulful level and they're like okay mm -hmm. we're all married now and it's like yes! So like it's like the whole like poly works because there's a communication thing. It's all good endings, all the pads, yes. Yeah. The cat girl, yes. The cat girl. 
I don't think she shows up in this one. Okay, I guess I'm gonna read the whole series. I'm putting it aside then. <laughs> if you ever like, if you've lost, if you hate either hate harems in general, harem genre in general, or you liked it but fell out of love with it because you know it wasn't providing the thing that the the, the, the mm -hmm. spice that you wanted. Fucking tales of wedding rings. Mm, so good. All right. I, I don't think I can match that energy. <laughs> the energy. Yeah. My recommendation. <laughs> Which one are we starting with? Uh, uh, we're short on time, so we might not get to all three. So we'll just go with my favorite one out of the list. The fave. The fave. Uh, they get volume one. Okay. Yes. So I got. I chose Arakawa Under the Bridge by. Nakamura Hikaru, yeah. Arakawa on the bridge. Um, yeah, it's uh, what genre would this be? Comedy. Uh, it's for comedy. Sure. Definitely comedy. Comedy Slapstick romance. Slapstick as fuck. Yeah, comedy romance with a wild pro plot that actually converges at the end. They make it make sense. Yeah. So before I start, uh, I watched the live action first. Wow. Yeah. I, I actually got into this because I watched the live action, and then I watched the anime, and then I read the manga. Because <laughs> even though the live action uh, finished the story, they skipped a lot. Mm -hmm. And the anime didn't finish the story. <laughs> so it's like, well, I'm kind of in the mixed feelings. God. Right? Uh, anyways, it's about a guy who uh, was, he, he doesn't like getting help from others. He's allergic to getting help from others, I think. That's he doesn't the, want to be in the debt of yeah, other people. Yeah, he's actually allergic to it. Damn, it's really hard to explain this story because, like, it's so random. Anyway, I'll just read the back. Uh, Ko Ichinomiya is a young man born with a silver spoon in his mouth and raised with the mantra of never owe anyone. Suddenly, he finds himself deeply in debt to a young homeless woman. That's right, yeah. That's the beginning. Yes. Uh... Nino, who lives on the Arakawa Riverbank and claims to be originally from the planet Venus. And that's the plot. That's the plot. That's honestly the plot. He just, he's, like, she saves him. He wants to pay her back, but she's also, like, the type of person who's like, why do you need to pay someone back to be saved? Kind of thing. Because it's all so and, weird as fuck. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, she is so weird. She just asks... I, she asks him to fall in love with her. So be my fucking boyfriend then. Yeah. And that's that's the story. That is the that is the story. That's it. Like it just keeps going. Just like they could have done anything else. They could have been like, oh help her get ho her home, but no, they want to do a love story, so it's a love story. But I think think the draw is not the love story part. I mean like yeah, you don't read Arakawa under the bridge for the romance. No. Like, Ko and Nino is really cute. They're cute. They're cute. But you read it for everyone else in the story. Every unique character of the people living under the bridge. It's a love rom-com. I, I want to go straight up with comedy, honestly. It's, it's more comedy than yeah, rom. Yeah, it's comedy of these weird people living under the bridge. The draw is the chaos. <laughs> yeah, the chaos. Like, there's, uh... So, like, I'm, I'm recommending the manga, but, like, also I'm having, like, knowledge from the live action and the anime. I'm recommending the manga for the story, but I'm also recommending the anime. Uh, because Sister, who is a, a sister at a church, Yasu Takehito. Takehito, I was fucking right. Known to voice Dio. Known for voicing Dio. Voices Sister. Who's an amazing character? Who it's he's a sister for a church under the bridge, but he's also an ex-military or mercenary. Knows how to kill kill anyone. And you have Star. Star. Who is voiced by uh, Sugita Tomokazu. Oh my god. Yeah, that's also the draw. Of course, uh, that would be your draw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, can you believe Star is actually voiced by Sugita out of everyone else? <laughs> Anyways, uh, Star is wants to be a rock star. So he's a star. So he's, he's a literal fucking star. star. He has a star helmet thing. It's fucking amazing. There's a, a village chief who's a kappa with a zipper on his back. Who's voiced by uh, Fujiwara Keiji. R.I.P. So oh. we're not getting a sequel. No sequel. Uh, One of the voice actors is not with us anymore. 
Mm -hmm. And the main character Ko is voiced by the it's a voice actor who can sp like who speaks really fast. <laughs> so like all the Tsukomis and all the like him pointing out all the ridiculous stuff and it, uh, that happens on the bridge is all done like in a really fast paced tone in the anime. Speaks very very quickly. Yeah. And like it's not uh they didn't fast forward it. That is just him. Just how fast he talks. Yeah, he just re talks really and like if you read the manga you can see like all the like the Tsukomis are big, like they're chunks. They're paragraphs. He does that. Dude just has a soliloquy every chapter. Yeah, it it's ridiculous. So like the uh the anime is fantastic. And you would think, like, okay, so the manga is ridiculous, but it's ridiculous because it's only in the manga and anime, right? They can't do that in the live action. They do. The live action is so amazing. I can't believe I forgot to talk about it last time we talked about live actions. <laughs> but Arakawa Under the Bridge live action drama and movie is one of the best live actions I've seen. It's a shame that they had to cut a lot of things to fit, like, the 12 episode run and, uh, movie version but it's amazing uh but so this is just me like going on a fan not rant but like thinking about the live action amazing cast ogre shun as kappa village chief and there's a really famous like uh like funeral drama actor in it he plays last samurai the, the barber oh uh yamada takayuki plays star like, it's like, there's so many good actors in it. And it, it is hilarious. Everyone should watch it if they get a chance. I think... Oh, I don't think the live action is on Crunchyroll anymore. So you might have to find a different way to watch it. But I definitely recommend it if you have a way to watch it. Alright. Yeah, I've got Under the Bridge. Chaos. Chaos. With a little bit of romance. The romance part doesn't matter. It is just comedy. Chaotic just comedy. And Hikaru Nakamura has a sense of humor is fucking amazing and that's gonna carry over to my next recommendation after you after me okay my next manga is just a manga that's nothing but pure ass vibes absolutely just you read this manga just a vibe mm -hmm. there's no plot it's just vibes but it's the most beautiful fucking vibes you'll ever fucking see all right it's hakume and mikochi and it's about these two little little people who live in the woods. They're like 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 oh, yeah. borrowers, that kind of tiny. Mm -hmm. They're these itty bitty little people who live in the woods, and it's just about their day to day lives. And it slowly, it's like every volume slowly expands on this world of little people who are there, where they live, and they also live with like regular sized animals, and just like their jobs and what they do and how they pass their time, and like what like food they make and how like their society works and like you know it just it just, it, it, it like every volume just goes deeper and deeper into this itty bitty little people world and also the art is so fucking gorgeous like it is insanely gorgeous it's too gorgeous for like it's too gorgeous for its own good so, so it's more of a world building it's a world building manga mm -hmm. and at the end of every chapter there's like a little paragraph about like what you saw mm -hmm. that it just kind of explains like one particular very small part of the world mm -hmm. and a lot of these times these little people just get drunk off they get drunk off their ass a lot in this manga <laughs> little people drinking itty bitty people wine i gotta find like a really 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 like pretty page because the art in here is breathtaking the detail the detail is insane well, also like each panel is super small so and, but like it's packed with detail and that's it is a good, packed as shit that is a good sign like i know i like bitch forever about asento's life how like it started as a simple story about like monster girls in high school yeah it was a world now it's like life. you have built this world too much there's too much shit going on i don't need to know about any of this mm -hmm. hakame and mikuchi is that if everything you learn about the world matters <laughs> like mm -hmm. it matters it, it is just like it's uh, like at this point it's like eight volumes long and you've learned a shit ton about the world they have like, gone to like multiple little people countries mm -hmm. and you've learned about the society in each of those countries but it feels like it all matters none of it is like superfluous at all mm -hmm. and it, it's I, I keep on saying it but it's just vibes 
it's just good feel good vibes mm -hmm. like this is the kind of manga you read if you just want to fucking relax and it's so fucking relaxing they're just chilling right. just chill so tired of you in the woods if you fucking love world building this is the ideal it is so good it's like how do small people do this? Well, they're gonna fucking explain how small people do this. Mm -hmm. Just, ah! Uh, it's just world building. It's world building, it's yeah, so good! Yeah, that's something you can't do in, like, Shonen Jump. No. Because, like, you, Shonen Jump, like, you know, you don't know when you're gonna get cut, so, like... No, you need action. Yeah. You need some sort of twist constantly. Yeah. Well, again, was, because Shonen Jump, like, they cut you. They will time. cut you. Yeah. Yeah, Hakame Mikuchi is fucking good. It's good shit. It's good shit. It's good shit. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so my second recommendation... Give me some more time. Uh, is... Uh, I didn't think this manga was ever gonna come out in English. Actually, there... I mean, I'm pretty sure in the manga... Which, I'm not part of the manga community, so I don't know everyone's opinions on it, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people also thought this wasn't gonna come out in English. Yeah. And then they're like, we have a digital release, all right, they're gonna just yeah. keep it in digital. Yeah. They're not uh, gonna release it physically. Mm -hmm. But we were wrong, and I'm glad we were wrong, because I was willing to... I was about to buy, like, the whole collection when we were in Japan. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Saint Youngman. Also, they didn't change the title. <laughs> they just called it Saint, Saint Youngman. Young it's... Uh, it's a manga. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have seen it on their social media once, once in a while. But it's a manga about Buddha and Jesus living in modern day Tokyo because they're on vacation. They're on a gap year. Yeah. That's the plot. That's the plot. <laughs> uh, it's by the same person, Nakamura Hikaru. So it's, it's less chaos than Arakawa. But it is on the same tone, like, a lot of stuff that happens are ridiculous because they're both, both a, what's the word, uh, holy men. Mm -hmm. So, they're, it's them trying to hide that they're holy, but miracles start, keeps happening around them, and that's the plot. Right. But, but nothing, there's no, like, end goal either. No, it's just it, them chilling. Yeah, it's, it's a life thing. I think... Yeah. Somebody has talked about this before, mm -hmm. but I just want to like reiterate if you are either Buddhist mm -hmm. or if you're Christian mm -hmm. This manga like if you're just like a regular just like unreligious person mm -hmm. You can read this and have a good old chuckle because haha Jesus mm -hmm. and Buddha hanging out together mm -hmm. If you are religious or have been or grew up religious at all mm -hmm. Funny as fuck. Oh, yeah, there's, no. like there's a lot of like they drop a lot of like if you grew up religious you will get this reference and oh, it's no, funny no. as hell yeah like it, there's research put in it's not just oh let's say like, let's it, it's not just her opinion on what jesus buddha is she actually put research in she actually researched no, like, it's not the like, actual religion yeah it's not just jesus and buddha doing funny things and it's funny because it's jesus and buddha there's very specific biblical and mm -hmm. like Buddhist things that happen in there, and mm -hmm. it's like if you know, you know, yeah, yeah. and it's funny. But like, it's also not sacrilegious either, because it's not like they're causing chaos. Oh, no, no, she's not like making fun of Christianity no. and Buddhism by doing this. It's no. like it, it's acknowledging the fact that they are holy. Yeah, it, it's actually it's it's good. Like, I, I I obviously I'm not Christian, so I don't know like at what level it becomes. Sacrilege, but like <laughs> I don't know. I'm an ex Mormon, so everything I do is sacrilege. Yeah, so, so like, I, I, I can't. I, I, I feel this is something I can recommend to even religious people mm -hmm. because they don't. This book doesn't deny religion. No, it's not like uh, it's the, atheist. Yeah, yeah, at, at all. Like, religion exists. Like, it is legitimate. Real Jesus and real Buddha living together. Yeah, she but, definitely like put some legwork in. Like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna make these jokes. Mm -hmm. that are religious in nature mm -hmm. and i'm gonna make it work without making fun of buddhism or christianity mm -hmm. like, they're just funny religious jokes mm -hmm. like the first chapter is jesus getting mistaken for johnny depp and it's like that's fucking funny mm -hmm. it's great or my favorite joke in like in the first volume at least is that they go to like in universe disneyland oh yeah yeah and they're at a parade and buddha is like having like the time of his fucking life he's so happy 
but then he starts glowing because he's fucking Buddha. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I don't know, he's like having like a moment. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is like, oh no! And he has to like throw a bag over Buddha's head. And Buddha's like, you have to make me think of something like impure, or else I'm just gonna keep on glowing. <laughs> yeah. And then Jesus is all like, he has to look around, he has to like quickly grab something from like within the crowd, and there's a, a parade going on. He's mm -hmm. all like, Tinkerbell's skirt is the canonical length. <laughs> and Buddha. <laughs> just like. <laughs> Impure thought. Impure thought. <laughs> it was amazing. I, uh, so there's an anime for this too. Yeah. Uh, I think there's an OVA and then there's an anime series. They're both really good. Uh, because the anime is a continuation of the OVA. There's also a live action movie of this. But I, can't, I know some people might be offended because it is a Japanese person playing Jesus. It is a Japanese <laughs> man playing Jesus. Yeah. It's not a Middle looks, Eastern man playing Jesus. Yeah, he looks like the Jesus... They got they got makeup right. On they they Jesus. got the, they got a guy who looks like this, this Jesus. Jesus, but they, but they didn't, didn't get, get a Middle Eastern man. Uh, there's also a live action net show net series. Uh, that one is uh, low budget. It's just that room. It's Jesus and Buddha living in that room. Sometimes they're not even on screen. Yeah, it's their everyday life in that room. In that this one particular room. Yeah, from Shit. that one particular angle. God. It's great. It's a good show. Uh, I definitely recommend it. Uh, it's definitely a surprise that it got published here, honestly. It is a shock to me that... It was definitely one of those manga where it's like, this is never getting an English release. Mm -hmm. This is never coming out. And it was just a widely accepted fact. Mm -hmm. Everyone pretty much accepted Everyone was it. was like, yeah, we're probably never going to get this in English. Mm -hmm. It's going to enrage some religious faction. Mm -hmm. Even though if you actually read it, it's not insulting it's at all. It's not insulting. <laughs> if anything, it's educational. But I do, I, I can see that uh, there may be a subset of Christians. Oh yeah, there's, it, there's like, definitely a level of sacrilege. Because like it does mention that gods from all religion exist. Yeah. So uh, they can't do the whole, uh, I know a lot of people don't like the whole multi-god theory. Theory? <laughs> the like, there's always that one god kind of thing. Uh, I think they do mention it, they do talk about it a little bit. like. The one god that Jesus follows is not the same as the gods the Buddha follows. But they don't really talk about how they can mesh, like how they're in the same world. But it's, it's a good story. I good definitely story. recommend it to everyone. Uh, I think we still have time to do our third recommendation, okay. if we do it quick. Okay, this one's gonna be really quick because it's only one volume fucking long. Mm -hmm. I've recommended this to so many people, and every single person I recommend it to falls in love with it. I, it's got a magical property to it. I don't know why. Everybody fucking loves it. Okay. And I'm very proud of the fact that every single person who's read it, who I've recommended to, falls in love with it. It's Oh My Sweet Alien. It's a single oh. fucking volume. Well, it's a single yeah. volume here, but it's a two in one. Mm -hmm, but, mm -hmm. oh my god. It is, like, it's got a parental advisory warning, so you think like, oh, it's like, you know, porn. an etchy, it's a porn etchy titty manga, which there are titties in it, but the titties, I want, don't want to say have a purpose, but... But tasteful. It's tasteful nudity. So it's about this alien woman who meets this earth guy, and they fall in love, and they get married. And that's, that's the concept, it's just their home life together. And the only reason it's parental advisory is because on the on the alien lady's planet, there is no such thing as clothes. They have evolved past the need oh, to wear clothes. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they're always naked all the time. So she's naked all the time. But that's because she that's that's how her, her society is, mm -hmm. is that she's naked all the time. This is so pure. And then they have a kid. And it's just their family life. Yeah, it's a slice of life. It's a slice of life yeah. with aliens. Mm -hmm. And like near the end, she comes out as being an alien, and everyone's all. And then other everybody else, I like, get that like they like yeah, it's like a, like a neighborhood meeting, and then everybody else is like, oh yeah, I'm also an alien. Oh shit, mm -hmm. you're an alien. Oh, I'm an alien. And the ending is just so pure. Mm -hmm. It's so pure. Yeah, it's, it's really cute. Yeah. It's really fucking cute. And it's just their home life together and their their lives as parents. Mm -hmm. it, oh, it's just so good. Mm -hmm. 
It's so good. It is really, really like, fucking really, cute. Like, she flipped through it just now, but like, there, it wasn't sexual. There's nothing sexual about it. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's some, like... There's, like, some where they, like, try to be, like, flirty and romantic with yeah. each other. They clearly are in love with each other. Yeah, but, like, they don't talk about the sexual part. No, they don't. Much. They're never, like, on, like, screen having the sex. Yeah. So, it's... Yeah, definitely parental advisory, definitely. Definitely, definitely, for sure. There's definitely titties, mm -hmm. but again, the but titties not the purpose. Porn. It's not porn. Yeah. It's she's just so, naked sometimes. Yeah. That, which is, a, like, a fine line anyways. Like, yeah. if you're not into nudity, you probably won't like it in the first place. But it is not porn. Like, I know we were talking about earlier, but, like, the found family such family trope. Fucking families. Mm -hmm. It's so cute. Mm -hmm. It's a cute one, yeah. So good. It's so fucking good. Do you think so, baby? Or you're not baby, you're Rifa. Rifa, okay. Yeah, it is. It's, so it's a cute. cute. It is so, so cute. Also, the art is also cute. Yeah, the art, honestly, uh, when I saw it, I thought it was a porn look, art. Like, look at this cute alien milf. Look at her. I mean, I get, you're right, she is. I never actually thought about it like that, but yeah. She's adorable. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. She's so fucking cute. Cute alien wife. But not gonna lie, when I saw the Panther Advisor, I thought it was porn. It's, you think, but no, it just sometimes she's naked. Mm -hmm. My last recommendation is uh, this one has been memed, but mostly on the Japanese side. I don't think I've seen a lot of memes in the Western side using this manga. But a lot of people who, like, a lot of Japanese people, regardless if they read the manga or not, uh, will recognize the word Zawa Zawa. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, Zawa 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 is pretty iconic. I, it's been memed a lot in anime, honestly. Also, the facial structure of the characters has been memed. You've probably seen it before, even in though you didn't know where it was from. Mm -hmm, parody mangas, parody animes. Uh, I know Pop Team Epic has done it a few times, but yeah, my final recommendation for tonight is Kaiji. The Gambling Apocalypse. Denpa? Yeah. They're a smaller publishing company, so I don't know what the fuck, but yeah, like their shit is constantly late. Mm -hmm. This was a year late. This, when they announced it, they're like, it's gonna get published in January, and they like released it in December. And then they're all like, well, the volume two was scheduled for months back, but obviously that ain't out. Mm -hmm. Came out a year fucking later after that. Mm -hmm. And it was all like, what's your fucking release schedule actually? Tell us, for, like, for real, Denpa. Mm -hmm. Granted, COVID. Oh, no, it's just pre COVID. <laughs> yeah, this came out pre COVID. Yeah, this was just right. fucking delayed for no yeah. reason. I want to say no reason, but there's probably a reason. Yeah. But I gotta say, it was worth it, because Kaiji is a iconic, it's actually part of pop culture in Japan now, it, it, it doesn't hurt to follow it, <laughs> uh, but it is a gambling manga about a guy, Kaiji, he sucks at gambling. He sucks. He sucks at he poker sucks. Breaks, But like, he's he has the luck of God, essentially. Uh, but he keeps getting into this situation where he has to get money because he sucks at money also. He sucks at everything. Yeah, so like... He's a bum. Yeah, he, he is. Uh, and uh, it, it's not... It's interesting. It's like in most ma mangas like that, like Liar Game or like... There's other gambling manga it's like it's it's the main character rising to the top right yeah no this guy it's just kaizi trying to fucking survive because he keeps going down he just keeps on fucking losing yeah like uh every arc there's a reason why he has to participate in these death games again and they're all dumb like the first arc is like he has no money okay he gets a shit ton of money and then the second arc he's done all most of that money he i think he gave away to his friends and stuff or like he got tricked into giving it away and whatnot so he has to go back into death games again and what's great about this is every character every major character who doesn't die is so iconic it's like like they're they're unique they're their whole like 
you can like they can essentially straight up tell you like the reason for living and whatnot but those reasons are so good that pretty much every major character has their own spin-off there is a rock paper scissors game there is a uh king's game which is just a game where you um you just need like five cards each and you, uh, like remember one to five or something and you can play it anyone could these are games that you can play uh, like with your friends i mean you with don't your buddies without killing each other like it, it's super good i recommend it uh the, there's a movie in netflix uh that's it's from China? No, I think it's a it's Korean a movie. Korean yeah. Chinese. Yeah, I forgot. I think it's a Korean movie. It's based on Kaiji. Uh, and he has a. Uh, uh, was it Martin Sheen? There is. Oh, yeah. Animal, Animal World, a Chinese live action movie, um, is based on the second arc of Kaiji. He has Michael Douglas there. Michael we go. Douglas. As uh, the main villain who plays, uh, yeah, the, the manager level dude, Tonegawa. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fucking wild movie. Uh, I didn't know it was based on Kaiji until the second trailer because the first trailer was about clowns. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I, Animal World's good. It's on Netflix. You should watch it. It's good. It's based on Kaiji. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's, it's just a gambling manga. But it's again, you're not watching it so you you see Kaiji win. You're watching it because you want to see Kaiji go, like Kaiji's reaction to everything, his react <laughs> despair, like his face is always has like sweat marks on it. He's always thinking. He's smart. He is a smart man. So dumb. He is like he, yeah. It's like I don't know what the chaotic stupid. Chaotic stupid. <laughs> like zawa 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 zawa. Like, everyone's sweating all the time. Everybody's nervous. Yeah. Oh, that's a- he's street smart. That's oh, he's the street whole, smart. He's really good at conning people. And, like, doing, uh... Like, tricking people. But that he's- everything else. He's awful. He trusts people too much. As a con man, that's one of the worst things you can do. <laughs> like, it's definitely a fun manga. Uh... I, honestly, I'm pretty sure volume two is out, right? Well, yeah, volume two. Yeah, three's coming. We have, I have no fucking idea when volume three's coming okay. out. It's a mystery. It's been going on for a long time. Since 1996? Shit, dude. Yeah, 96, yeah. It's wow. not over yet. Yeah. Wow. And the crazy thing is, Akagi was published at the same time. This guy was doing, like, four different mangas at the same time. Fucking insane. Yeah. Uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, honestly, like every a lot of people in Japan knows about it. I knew about it from the memes. I didn't get into it until I watched the anime because the Fear and Lonely in Las Vegas did the opening for it. Oh my god! <laughs> in conclusion, to in conclusion, like oh, we got all these like Saint Young Man, Arakawa under the bridge, Kaiji, Hakame Mikochi, mm -hmm. Oh my sweet alien, Tales of Fucking Wedding Rings. Mm -hmm. Cause shit. This is just like, like not even one percent of our collection. My the collection is a collection of a crazy person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's both impressive and sad. Mm -hmm. Like I the, the I wanted to recommend Gundam Origins, but I don't know where it is. I know where it is. Yeah. It's, it's behind. It's behind all... some shit though. Yeah. So we couldn't get to it anyways. There's layers. So, uh, that's it for tonight, I think. Way shorter than last time. Again, I apologize for last one. I think mm. this one we can edit. Oh, we yeah, I can, I can probably cut this shit down. Oh, you want to? Okay. This is probably the segment where we answer questions, like asks that we get on Tumblr and stuff. Yeah. But we didn't get any because we're nobodies. Nobody. So, nobody, if, you, if you have nobody. a question, just uh, send an ask towards her or my Twitter. Uh, and make sure you write that it's for the, the stop eating on stream. <laughs> Beans. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll answer any questions that you send us. Just make sure you, you write that it's for the podcast. Otherwise, we'll just answer it right then and there. Uh, leave. If you have any questions, you just leave it on the comments section too. We'll answer it next stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I guess like... 
my question for anyone who watches is like, what manga that's part of their collection they recommend? What manga are you reading, motherfucker? Because it's always nice to like hear people. But remember, mm -hmm. if it's like Dragon Ball Z or Naruto or Gundam or Sailor Moon or oh my if God. you're a normie and you're not really an anime fan, oh my remember God. that. God. Yeah, so that's it for today. That's it. I, I really should think about a better camera angle because, like, it's. The, look at this wasted space. <laughs> look, the, the wasted space. Look at this waste of space. <laughs> My camera. I think we're streaming every Friday. Every Friday. We're and, just gonna try to. Uh huh. Friday or Saturday. And then the video will be uploaded by Tuesday. Or we'll try to. Yeah, Tuesday. Tuesday. We have a goal in mind. Yeah. Uh, catch us next week. Make sure you like and subscribe on YouTube. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell. You don't have to hit the bell, though. Don't you know that? Uh, and if you, if you follow us on Twitch, I will love you forever. Kiss you directly on the mouth. Yeah. Why do you make it weird? <laughs> <laughs> That's my brand. That's your brand. My brand is right. making it weird. Uh, if you're watching it through Twitter or Tumblr, like and follow. Like and follow. If you're watching it through, through Twitch, same thing, huh? Or same. Uh, not Twitter. 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 If you're from Twitter. Why is that all T's? Why is it Tumblr, Twitch, Twitter? Good luck, guys. All right. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.